Mr. Speaker, the reasons why we are convening today are partly to be found in the fact that today is the 29th of March, and it was today, Mr. Speaker, which this House voted some months and years ago should have been the day on which we left the European Union. However, we are today where we are, precisely. The House has before it a clear choice this morning. It can either approve this withdrawal agreement, knowing that by doing so it secures its right to an extension, or it can have declined to do so and know in doing so that by next week there will be no right to an extension, that any extension applied for will require some clear indication of the pathway forward and a stable majority, majority behind it, and thirdly, that it is subject to the veto of those 27 member states.